In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to change the vinyl solenoid, uh, the exhaust side in BMW F20 and 13 engine. So N13 engine, it should be the same for uh, most of the cars. So the problem started after adding oil additive in my car uh, due to high oil consumption. I tried different uh, oil additives from uh, big, big brands, but it resulted in just waste of money and more problems in my car. So I tried uh, cleaning the vinyl solenoids, uh, the XO side, but it didn't last more than 500 kilometers or uh, you know, like 600 kilometers. Then the drive train issue will pop up again. So I tried reading the codes many times uh, just to make sure if the error code is the same. So this is the code 130304, which will pop up if uh, there is uh, uh, bad oil and 130204 if the vinyl solenoid is completely dead. Uh, so these are the tools that are used. These, you just need these tools. Uh, this is a dissected view of uh, the vinyl solenoid. It was completely broken, so I just took it apart. Uh, to see what all uh, parts are inside. I was not able to get the filter part out. Uh, it was too hard. Um, these are the parts that I found, the piston, uh, the ring and the piston hold, uh, what do you call this? Uh, the enclosure. So it was coming just like this and it will go into the filter part. And this is the electrical solenoid, which will actuate uh, this particular piston. So this was completely dead. I tried uh, con connecting it to uh, positive, uh, the battery terminal, but it was not clean. Whenever I cleaned, I used this one. So this is a new Febby solenoid that I bought, which is much cheaper. It's um, really in nice condition and it's exact copy. So I'm gonna try this. Actually, I tried this for a couple of uh, kilometers for now. Uh, video is a little bit older. So what you need to do is take the air filter out. Most of you guys might know. Make sure you loosen these hose clips, take out the hoses and the oil, uh, excess oil uh, hose from below and the uh, HFM connection, this one already disconnected and just showing you and make sure the cable is take, properly taken out the bonnet cable so in my case this oil ex excess oil the dumping thing uh, the clip was broken and you can see all these uh, so the one also will go in here i'll show you in detail so you see that uh, big hole to the right that is where the vanos will vanos all not will sit and uh, the below is the bolt uh, where the uh, Torx bolt will go. So this is a new one from Febby. I'm gonna install it, you can see, really nice looking. Uh, you have to hold it like this and go in this manner, otherwise you won't be able to get it in. It's really simple. Uh, if I were to mention you, uh, you have to put a cloth below so that the excess oil doesn't fall down when you take it apart and the bolt doesn't fall down so uh, take it in this position and push it in that's it once you push it in align the bolting hole in proper uh, position so that you can put the bolt in and press it completely it's really easy it's not a big deal if i can do you can easily do that I'm not a pro. So now uh, from here, you can connect it behind the uh, oil pipe. This is the tool that we need to use, Torx 30 bit and uh, that particular. So I used a tissue so that it uh, holds the bolt properly. It will not fall down and just tighten it with that particular tool. Uh, first you uh, hand tight it, finger tight it, then you uh, use the tool. So that's it, remove that tissue out and now it's in position. You have to connect the electrical connector. It will go behind that oil 
inlet pipe of uh, the turbo. Just plug it in. The exhaust uh, vano solenoid removal is the opposite direction. So this is cover for that connector. First you put this cover, just slide it in uh, from beneath. It will be a bit tricky. Now from the front side, you just uh, clip it from below and after clipping it from the uh, lower part, you push it in properly and you can hear the click. So it will be nicely covered like this. You see there, all the clips in position and make sure the uh, electrical connect, uh, connection is going properly in. Rest is easy, you just put uh, the air filter and the hoses back. Mine is broken, uh, the all return align. So I just used a um, wire and uh, make sure the bonnet, uh, uh, bonnet line is connected from the top. I just clear the codes and just gonna start the car without calibrating anything. The car starts normally and no more problems, no more uh, drivetrain issue, and the idling is perfect. So this helps someone, just hit a like, and uh, make sure you have the OBD reader.